It's dynamic and the fraud side has no rules. The AI protection side is limited by reacting instead of creating new approaches like the fraud side does. So like Sam Harris has said, the fraud side almost has an advantage until finally we start developing tools using AI that aren't fakes, but help us as well. Just like the earlier examples of the AI fake generated paper to prove you could create it, what if you used a similar process with better knowledge of AI to create real research? Like the project AI Scientist on GitHub has code, templates, and guides to creating novel scientific research at $15 a paper. Wow. Imagining people could use this to come up with cool ideas and speed up research, make the progress faster, and helping them pursue ideas that are great, not average, because it's very important in scientific research to come up with something new that adds to what we know.